This video is sponsored by Intel. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another backpack video. This is one of the harder backpack series that I do. This is the minimalist setup. You guys know I love to carry around some tech, so a minimalist setup is usually pretty hard, but we got a really cool backpack and gear inside of here. But first off, just talking about the backpack itself, this is the NK Staple Backpack. Uh, this is a 15 inch laptop backpack, you can hold a 15 inch laptop. It's got a few compartments, not a ton. You guys know I like to have a ton of compartments for all the tech, but this one is like super slim. Uh, it's got a pretty low profile. You guys can see how slim it is. Not too much gear inside of here, and it's comfortable. So I just throw it on like this. Here you guys have it. Nice, simple backpack. But let's take a look at what's inside of it. I like the two-tone look too. I think it gives it a little edge in comparison to other plain black backpacks that I typically have. But let's open this up. Actually, we've got a compartment in the very front. So inside of here, I've got a Mophie case or a power case. And this is for a pair of earbuds. So inside of here, I can just open this up and I've got a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. These right here are a pair of Sony earbuds. Uh, they've got a crazy model number. What is it? The WI6P600N. Either way, these are a pair of Bluetooth earbuds that are actually great for working out because they're sweat proof, they're IP4 resistant. So sweat, you don't have to worry about that. But what's nice about these is that they've also got active noise canceling built right into it. Sound quality is actually pretty good on these. These are from the extra bass line, and you guys know me, I love me some bass. So these sound really nice, but only thing I would have to say uh, is a complaint of mine is the fact that it has this big remote on the side. So when you're actually using it and you put it on, you got this giant remote dangling right here. Now it does come with wingtips, so that'll help with uh, securing the fit in your ears, uh, but still, I do wish this was a little bit smaller, but it only cost about 80 bucks. So that is a really good price for some pretty solid earbuds, especially if you don't have to worry about sweat. And for this backpack, I like for my things to have multiple purposes so that I don't have to carry around too many things. Uh, and this one having active noise canceling, even if you don't wanna listen to music, you just wanna block out your surroundings, you can actually do that even without listening to music. That way you just focus on whatever it is you're doing. It also has an ambient noise feature, so if you do wanna hear things around you, you can activate that. And you can switch all of those up with the Sony Companion app. You get a lot of control there. So these, for me, are a really nice buy. Now, they were sitting inside of this Mophie power case, and what's nice about this case is it will protect your earbuds, of course, but it also has a portable charger built right into it so that you can charge these up when you're not using them. And that's what we've got in the first compartment. Nothing else over there. And that's honestly like, one of the only compartments in this backpack. I think there's like a total of three. But into the next big pouch, I of course, I gotta have a notebook, guys. I'm pretty old school, guys. If I wanna take down some notes really quickly, I can just pull this out, maybe jot down some ideas, and I don't have to worry about draining my battery when I do it. Good old pen and paper. I do have some pens and pencils in here to go along with it. Stuff that I typically carry around in every backpack that I have. So of course, those are here as well. Now we're gonna do things a little bit differently this time, guys. Usually I like to show the laptop last, but a lot of these things that are inside of here work really well with it, and I wanna be able to explain it with some context. So right here, we've got the laptop, guys. This is the world's thinnest laptop, the Acer Swift 7. First of all, just check this out. This is absolutely insane. This is like holding a tablet, guys. It's nuts but this is a really awesome computer. And what's nice is that even though this is a super thin portable laptop, it's not like some tablet or anything. It's full blown Windows with everyday software powered by an Intel Core i7 processor to get just about anything done. Now, not only is this the thinnest laptop out there, but this also has some really cool features that make taking this on the go just amazing. But let's talk about the IO for a second. So on the left side, we have two USB-C ports as well as a headphone jack. And on the right side, you've got your power and a nano SIM card slot. Not only is it super thin, but what makes it extra portable is the fact that this thing can work with 4G LTE. And we're able to get that LTE connection thanks to Intel's built-in modem inside of this guy. So you have an always connected PC. Uh, I think that is a game changer, guys. Can you imagine a laptop that doesn't need Wi-Fi or need to get on public Wi-Fi or use a hotspot from your phone draining your battery? You don't have to worry about any of that. This thing has its own cellular connection, which I think just 
it's amazing. And the latest Intel modems are available with PCs that have Intel 7th generation or 8th generation processors. In a minimalist backpack, I feel like this laptop just works out perfectly. Super portable, lightweight, and I can just pretty much do whatever I need to in terms of getting work done. And personally, I think being able to access the internet wherever I am is a clutch feature. Uh, so if I need to run and upload a video right after a keynote or something, this thing's gonna be able to help me do that without having to run to a hotel or some coffee shop or something and use really bad Wi-Fi. But real quick, let's talk about the body of this laptop. It's obviously super thin. Uh, it has a 14 inch display with very, very little bezels except for the bottom chin. But what's also nice is that it has a 1080p touchscreen, which is actually one of the best screens that I've seen in a while. Uh, this is a really, really good looking screen. Not super high res, but it definitely does the job. And what's also nice is that it even has a built-in fingerprint scanner right here on the left side. So with this guy, you can log into Windows by just putting your finger on it you get right in. So that right there is also a really nice bonus. And if you guys wanna get your hands on a laptop that's always connected like this one, you can run into any tech store and just ask whoever's helping you for a PC with Intel's 4G LTE connection and they should be able to help you out. Now that you guys have seen this, let's take a look at what else we've got inside of the backpack. Now the laptop has a 256 gig SSD inside of it, but right here, I've got an external SSD and this is the Samsung X5. Now with the X5, you get insane, insane read and write speeds. And it also uses Thunderbolt 3. So if you have a Thunderbolt 3 compatible device, this thing is going to be the fastest SSD that you can get externally. This right here is the two terabyte version. So if I need to put any videos or any kind of work on here, this thing is going to be able to hold onto it no problem. And like I said, it works perfectly with this since this has USB type C. I don't have to worry about any adapters or plugs. Just use the cable, plug it right in, and I got access to two terabytes of storage in this nice compact body. Now, let's say we need to use something that isn't USB Type-C. I've got right here, of course, a dongle. This one is by Satoshi, and this is probably my favorite USB Type-C dongle out there uh, because this thing has a ton of functionality. So we get access to an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, another USB Type-C port, as well as two USB 3.0 ports on the other side, a mini display port, and an HDMI port. And on this last panel, you also get another USB 3.0 port, as well as an ethernet port. Definitely not something I need with this uh, laptop over here, since I'm always connected with the LTE connection. Uh, but if you ever need that, this is probably the best dongle that you can get out there for any PC that uses USB Type-C or Thunderbolt ports. Now, of course, we got a laptop over there, so we also need a mouse, and I feel like it's kind of a cop-out since this is like one of the most popular mouses out there, but it just works so well. This is the Logitech MX Master 2, uh, a great mouse, super comfortable to use. And if you were to carry multiple devices, uh, this thing can switch between them with the press of a button. You can pair up to three devices with this. So this is a really nice mouse and it's a no brainer why so many people use it. Now we've also got a couple of other things that are just essentials. So right here we have a power brick for charging up my laptop and anything else that I may bring around with me. This is Anchor's PowerPort Plus. Uh, this has five USB ports, four normal USB type A ports, and a USB C PD, which is power delivery port, which can provide a little bit more juice so I can use it to charge my laptop or maybe fast charge some devices with USB type C. And of course, I got the power cable to go along with it, uh, but having something like this means you can charge up anything from the mouse, laptop, earbuds, whatever it may be, you can charge it all up with this guy. And it's just a clutch thing to have. And I've also got one of Nomad's rugged USB cables. Now the one I have here has USB type C on both ends, but if I need to use a regular USB port, I can actually throw this extension onto it so that it works with USB type A. And it also has a micro USB adapter as well. Since I'm only using USB type C and micro USBs here, this thing is perfect for this little backpack setup. And Nomad makes some really awesome cables. They're a bit pricey, uh, but the quality that you get out of them is just a1. And you thought I forgot, but I didn't. Got a microfiber cloth here. It is an absolute must. There's no way you can walk around without a microfiber cloth. You got to. Keep your stuff clean. Keep your screen clean on your phone. Your nice touch screen laptop. You gotta have it, guys. You know me. And that's pretty much it for the backpack, but there's just one more compartment, which I'm very happy about. Give me three compartments and I think I can survive. But this one back here, this is like more of a security compartment. So if you wanna hide something important, you can throw it back here. But for me, 
I just threw in a portable charger. Uh, this one's actually a pretty large one. Uh, this is by Nimble. Uh, they make some really great portable chargers. This one is actually 26,800 milliamp hours, I believe. Yes, got that right. <laughs> but this one allows you to charge with USB type C and three regular USB ports, but this has USB type C PD. So power delivery means I'm going to be able to even charge my laptop with this guy. But the laptop does have solid battery life, so you probably won't need it, but it's nice to have just in case. This is a lot of juice to carry around with you and having the power to charge your laptop right from a portable charger, that is super clutch. And if 26,000 milliamp hours is too much for you, they got the smaller ones as well. Uh, these are just really, really well built solid portable charger so i definitely like to carry this one around and that pretty much is it guys these are all of the things that i'm including in this minimalist backpack definitely very different from what i typically do a lot less things here just the essentials for getting work done listening to some music and being productive but that pretty much wraps up for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you would do anything differently let me know with a comment down below if you liked it definitely hit that thumbs up button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.